You're well known for many things. Um, one of the great toy collectors around. Um, but for you personally, what are your toys? Like, what do you what What do you never part with? What you know? What stays on the shelf? Everything's in my collection till I sell it. So if I like it, it makes me happy, brings joy. Usually it's stuff from my youth. I collect a lot of uh, toys from the 60s because I grew up in the 60s and never grew up. And I also collect things that I think eventually might go up in value. So there's two logics to any type of collecting. You're collecting for the now and how you feel, but there's also the collecting for the future and what it might sell for or not. Um, so part of my job is helping people with their stuff. So I get to see a lot of great collections. Right. And when I help them with their stuff, I'm able to get the things I like for myself, and I get them the most money possible for their stuff. Uh, so appraisals wise, what is like, you know, uh, what is something that you are particularly expert in, in appraising? So in appraisals, there's three different variables. If you have to, if you have to help people, they're, they're fine. So most people don't understand about appraisals. There's three valuations that we deal with in okay. appraisal. There's liquidation value, fair market value, and replacement value. So when anybody wants to know what their stuff is worth, I kind of have to get it qualified. You mean how much is it worth for you to get rid of? How much is it worth for you to sell at auction? Or how much of it burned up in a fire? Uh, 20 bucks, great record, Fred Neal. Unbelievable, rare. You should buy that. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Hey, he knows it's Take his money, make him happy. Give him a bag. Give him a bag. Oh, Let's God. This is too much job. fun. So, oftentimes I'll ask people, what do you want to know the value for? And to try and find out what, well, you know, I just want to know. Well, great God, Google will tell you anything you want. Why are you asking me? Well, I really want to know what I can get for it. Ah, you don't want to know what some guy in Iowa is selling it for in his underwear? <laughs> no, I understand that. So it becomes mostly next of kin. Okay. My job now is the three Ds. Downsizing, divorce, and death. Divorce and Because usually all three of them come into play. Gotcha. Most people want to have to sell their collection. So they either died and the family has to get rid of it. There's a divorce and they need to know the value because one person is going to buy the collection from the other or they decide they got to sell it. And or, in many cases, um, they just want to know for insurance value. Gotcha. When you ask why am I an expert and what things I'm an expert in, I'm an expert in popular culture, rock and roll, and childhood stuff. So. Anything that, um, and again, we have this nostalgia curve. So childhood stuff might be my childhood, it might be my child's childhood. Right. Because that just keeps evolving and you can't put a, a end cap on nostalgia. So I got just a couple more for you here. Uh, so I, it's an interesting time for in collecting. I just drove, I, I uh, listen, when I'm really going to do an estate sale, I'll sleep over. But I figured I saw one that was near here. I'll, yeah, I'll swing by on the way, on the way up, right? 10:30. There's still 350 people outside. It's a new era. Uh, as an as an OG of this world, you know where does the where does the the convention fit into everything? Seems to me like a better place than it used to be to to get stuff as a collector. I don't know. Um, and, and you know, what do you just think? You know, what are your thoughts on just every on the the frenzy right now? So, a lot of the different levels of collecting uh, broke up and changed when the internet kind of made it that you could shop from your bedroom. And so, what's the question? Take pairs first. Do it. All right, I'll be over there. Let me just finish this, I'll be right there. Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay. So, these different levels evolved because of online shopping. So, many people prefer to touch it, see it, inspect it, and not buy it online. There's the separation. Now, what level of one or the other there's people that'll buy online because they don't want to go travel and they trust the people they're buying from so you know there's online auctions most like live auctioneers and proxy bid are running thousands of online auctions every month from different small auctioneers all over the country all over the world people can buy through those but the people that come to conventions and comic cons and go to brimfield flea market or go to these places they are two different levels of that. Those that want to get it for as cheap as possible, they don't really care about uh, what it's worth, they just want it for themselves, they want to pay the lowest price. Then there's the investment crowd. People who know 
And again, it's well known now that a video game can sell for $20,000, <laughs> yeah. that a comic book can sell for a million, that right. a record album can sell for 10000 Now they're all like trying to learn. So they come in here and they have their phones and they look the stuff up. Wow, what's it selling for on Fleabay? Oh, wow, it's only going for $30. Oh, it's not worth it. You're asking 75 Then they go and they try and buy one. And now it's not $30 because with taxes. Go ahead, I'll follow you over. Else. Let's go Let's over. Go. We're going to go sell something to somebody. Let's do it, come on. You have extraordinary excellent taste. Oh, yeah. Which one? Yeah. Oh, well, Whoa, this one's $900. And this one, I'd sell you for a hundred. <laughs> this is what, a what's nine hundred? This is a 1967 head shop poster. Aloha! Welcome to the dance. This is my stuff that I sell. All this kind of cool crap here. I'm buying all kinds of stuff. You are? Did you find this a puppy? So did, did, did they make them taking care of the puppy? Yeah, he's good in the pet. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. yeah, so this is the kind of stuff I sell. I sell weird stuff to weird people. It's, it's a job. Uh, <laughs> you having fun yet? Yeah. Excellent. Cool. So, if you see me in my booth you want, I can discount it because I'm the hippie in charge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love the hippie in charge. Good day. This is I'm with the boss here right now. Very cool. You're having a great time. Tara, do you collect anything? Are you a collector of uh, anything in particular? I collect everything. <laughs> and what's the dog's name? This is Bella. Hey, Bella. Bella. She's a sweetheart. Such a good girl. Uh, the next one is uh, $30. Good. No, There was supposed to be two guys who did pressing, uh, comic pressing here. Yeah, the, the, the one-shot shop, that big wall right there. He's